Hello guys and welcome back to Summer Day Studios YouTube channel. In today's video we're going to be taking a little bit of a look at doing interior lighting. So a little bit ago I made a YouTube short on this kind of retro uh, interior with this old school desk set up, this very antique looking desk and um, CRT monitor and all that stuff and we had this quite nice um, sort of afternoon, evening, golden hour kind of lighting coming through. And uh, I wanted to make a quick video just going over how I sort of achieve that look and uh, what you can do as well in your renders to achieve that same look too. So something I see a lot of beginners struggling with with interior scenes is how do you light them effectively? So I have this scene here um, and you can see it's like uh, only a partial uh, room. We don't have the back walls. And when you're making an interior scene like this, let's say you want the lighting just coming in from the window as if you've got daylight, sunlight coming in through there. Maybe you have a little bit of light in here, but it's mostly being lit from the window itself, right? In this case, just one window. Um, what I see a lot of beginners do, you might be tempted just to enclose all of this, right? So you'll have uh, walls on all sides and then you'll have the light just come through uh, the window because it's set to transparent. I have this set as a glass material. Um, you may even just leave this backside open and uh, you can do that but generally it's not a good idea uh, it's going to increase render times you're going to have more noise in your render and there are much more effective ways to do this so if i just go to my render cam real quick okay and we'll just go for a few different examples so right now i have just a uh, sky dome light um set up here and I'm just using Arnold's physical sky, the sunlight that comes built in as well. If, if you've not used that before, you can create physical sky from up here uh, in the Arnold tab in Maya, and it just emulates uh, sun and uh, sky lighting. Um, you can change the position of the sun and all that good stuff. So, so let's go ahead and do a quick render just to see what this looks like as is with the back walls missing, and, and we'll take a look and see what that looks like. Okay, so you can see it doesn't look too bad, but it's very, very bright. Um, and the reason for that is if I come to this view here, obviously we have these back walls missing. So the dome light, if I just make that visible here, you can see it's surrounding our scene on all sides. So it's being lit from all directions. Now, if this was a real bedroom, a real scene in real life, the light would only be coming through this side, right? You might have a door on the other side, so you might have a bit of backlighting coming through. But for the most part, it's only going to be... Um, it's going to be cut off so we could add some back walls but instead uh there's a very very handy tool it's not so much a light but it is light adjacent it works with your lights your sky dome light and it's called a light portal okay so we'll go ahead and quickly create one of those if you come to the arnold render tab and where your lights are here there's this one here which is like a circle with this little gray square there if you go ahead and click that it's going to create what looks like a light this just looks like an area light um, but what this actually is, is it's going to tell Maya, if you're using a dome light, to only allow light to come through this specific direction. And it's great for doing interior scenes like this where you might want light only coming through a window. Um, so instead of having to create those back windows, or those, uh, those back walls, sorry, to entirely encase this, we instead just create a light portal and it just funnels all the light from our 360 degree panorama dome light through this one particular area. So if I go ahead and re-render this now with the light portal applied, and you don't have to do anything with that, it will just automatically link up to any sky dome lights you have in the scene. You can now see we're getting much more accurate lighting as if it's just coming through that window, okay? And we're getting that kind of darker, moodier effect that I was looking for with just the light coming through the window instead of from all directions. The benefit of this is that it increases, sorry, not increases, it reduces your render times. Generally, it's gonna be less noisy. Maya these days comes built in with uh, a denoiser that's automatically applied in the viewport and in the render view, but still it will reduce your render times quite significantly in some cases. If you're doing an interior lighting scene, I would absolutely use a light portal, especially if you're planning on having light come through a window like this. Now, to get accurate sun lighting, again, I said I'm just using a sky dome light and I have a physical sky attached to that. And we can change various different settings here. The azimuth, for example, is just kind of what way the, uh, um, where the sun is in the sky in uh, 360 degrees, essentially. Um, so you can see as I move it around here, it's changing. 
uh, position and then the light that's coming through the window is also changing so if i move it over to here the sun is not pointing directly into the window and it's represented in the scene because we're now getting much softer lighting it's just bouncing from the outside but if i move it back to where i had it originally you can see now as it comes around in this direction we're getting much more light through the window again that's because the sun is visible through the window we can also change the elevation as well as the sun gets much lower in the sky uh, we get this much more golden hue uh, more like an evening um, late afternoon kind of lighting we can pull this up as well if i pull up to 42 um, the light isn't coming through the window as much because the sun's sort of going further above the building in the window but you see the lights getting a lot more blue so it's just a great light for simulating that kind of nice evening light look or just sunlight in general and especially combined with a light portal in an interior scene like this they work really really well in conjunction with each other the next thing that can really improve your lighting in interior scenes like this is you can see on front of the windows here i have these slats um, these blinds if I was to go ahead and hide those you can see the lighting does still look quite nice but we've got a lot less kind of visual interest in the windows outside of these bars because um, the windows are separated up into three different pieces so that is adding some interest here as well in the shadows if this were just a plain window without anything at all you know if I was to hide some of this stuff you can see the shadow looks a lot less interesting a little bit less realistic um, generally there's going to be things in the way of a window it's kind of rare that you'll just have the sun coming directly in um, so adding these little extra elements in front like the blinds and the segmented windows kind of just helps to make the shadows look a lot more interesting like the the room has some some substance to it right and we're getting more interesting shadows all over the desk and stuff like that as well and then you can even take this a step further um, I've gone ahead and just placed this low poly tree window tree model outside the window and you can see that's even adding some more shadow interest as well with the leaves here on the uh, on the wall in the render and also some uh, more on the uh, the the monitor itself and this tree model isn't particularly high fidelity or anything it's quite simple quite basic you can get these uh, free online on sites like turbo squid and, and cd trade and stuff like that so if you're doing an interior shot um, regardless of the mood of the lighting right I've got this nice golden hour sort of lighting it's good to have stuff in the way of the windows just to change those shadows and it just adds that extra element of realism that you would get in real life you know and a, a great thing to do is look at the spaces that you live in um, whether it's your home or your office or wherever and um, pay attention to how the light comes through the window and look at those things it's a good uh, good source of reference for stuff like that and then finding it online too um, so yeah that's just a quick example of how to do an interior scene um, some tips to make it work better for you and how I did this one a little bit ago so yeah thank you very much for watching this quick video and we'll be back next week with another one like and subscribe bye bye